what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl shawnee if you want to see how i got this beautiful orange halo look go ahead and stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks y'all all right starting out i'm going to go in with this juvia's place zulu eyeshadow palette um to create this look i use these three colors orange yellow and this pretty burnt kind of brown um for me i'm not gonna say i'm a beginner at makeup but i'm also definitely not a professional <laughs> i just do what i prefer to do um for this look i kind of just started packing the color into my crease just to i kind of was new at this palette when i was using it so i just kind of really wanted to see the color payoff and the pigmentation is crazy um in this palette which i am not surprised because juvia's place palettes always has really good pigments um in their eyeshadows but i just put that in my crease and then i took a clean brush and i kind of just wanted to buff out that line and kind of soften it up um with that orange then i went in with that pretty burnt brown and i kind of wanted to put some depth into my crease um but i, I went a little bit above the crease and then i kind of brought it down this just brought brought out the shadow a little bit more i feel like because it kind of just made it um look a little bit deeper and i took that orange and i went ahead and put it on like the edge of my eye just to kind of bring it in a little bit because i decided to create a cut crease i took the nyx um hd concealer and i cut my crease with that concealer i like that concealer because it's really really bright so whatever shadow i put down on top of it will kind of stick out or stand out uh, fyi i'm not that great <laughs> at creating cut creases that is something that i seriously have to practice so i'm going to be trying more and more looks with cut creases because i really want to get i want to learn how to get that cut crease down pack like i want i want to be able to be a pro at a cut crease <laughs> i went ahead and set that with some um face powder just so it wouldn't move when i placed on the yellow shadow shadow from the juvia's place palette this shadow is also super pigmented. I love Julia's Place. I have at least maybe five of her palettes. And all of them are amazing. I'm definitely going to be doing more and more looks with each palette that I have. I just kind of packed that on there. Went ahead and decided to try the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow. And it's like really, really creamy and really, really soft. The payoff for this shadow was kind of difficult because... I don't know when I was first packing it on it came off really really it just came off as glitter it didn't look how it looked in the pot so I was kind of disappointed with that but then I went ahead and tried to wet my brush and it kind of came out a little bit better this shadow is really translucent so to me it doesn't look like how it looks in the pot it comes off as more of a shimmer in my opinion but it came out pretty anyways and I like the sh I like the the concept of these shadows because they're super super soft and creamy yeah see I like that <laughs> for my face I went ahead with this Smashbox primer and I just put that all over my face oh and also off camera I decided to add lashes they were Amazon lashes and I added um, a wing liner and I used my NYX epic ink liner for that absolute favorite we will never use a different liner any uh, any other liner will not do <laughs> um okay so after i let the smashbox primer set in my skin i went ahead and did my la girl pro concealer orange correcting i always do this under my makeup um it just hides my dark spots and my imperfections when i put it on it's it's pretty liquidy so i i like to let it sit for a little bit and dry up just a little bit so it'll be easier to blend out that's why you see me putting on some ram random chapstick because i was just waiting for it to <laughs> dry down a little bit um i noticed when i let this concealer dry down it's way easier to blend out and then you you won't see it at all once you put on your your foundation i noticed that if i put this on and then go right in with my foundation it will peek through so 
this is milani <laughs> the um i think it's the two-in-one foundation it's like foundation and concealer i like this one because it it covers very very well um they milani hit it on the head when they made this foundation super affordable and i think one of the best foundations as far as it goes for a drugstore foundations i really really like this foundation a lot it's kind of thick so if you're not looking for thick i would say opt out of this one but the coverage is amazing i did my brows off camera also but if you guys want to see a video on how i do my brows let me know in the comment box and i will make a video a lot of people at my job they say they love my eyebrows so i wouldn't mind doing that i went in with my blue beauty sponge i went in with my beauty sponge and kind of just dabbed it around my face i wanted to get off the excess uh, foundation and just make sure it looks more smooth and seamless then i went in with my tart shape tape concealer and my la girl pro concealer um i think this la girl pro concealer concealer is in uh, is in fawn and then i went in with the tart concealer but i went in that went in with that because i wanted my highlight under my eyes to be a little bit brighter than what the la girl pro concealer was giving me so i went in with that as well and i just blended them both out um i'll put the shade of the tarte shape tape concealer in the description box below in case you want to know what shade i used and then i just went ahead and blended those out with my beauty sponge this beauty sponge is slightly slightly damp I don't like to soak my beauty sponges because I feel like it makes my concealer or my foundation move around. So I, I just, um, you know, I just make them a little bit, you know, a little bit wet, squeeze it a little, little bit and you know, it just works fine and better that way. And I also make sure the water is warm because it just seems to warm the concealer up and blend it out better. Then I went in with my e.l.f. contour palette. And I just used a little bit of that to chisel my cheeks and contour my cheeks. And I tried this LA Colors Contour Stick. And you know what? It's actually really, really good. Don't sleep on cheap products, y'all. Because I'm telling you, some of them are amazing finds. Like, you'll be so shocked at the quality of some of these cheaper brands. And they work really well. Some of them work better than, like the expensive brand so don't sleep <laughs> uh again this is la girl this is la colors um contour stick and i use that for my nose because i just think that's the perfect color to blend out for my nose and it was creamy and it blended out perfectly then the rest for the rest of my face around my forehead and under my jawline i went back in with the elf contour palette and added a little bit of color um to my forehead and the in my chin so i can go ahead and just blend everything out and contour my face so you know because after you put on foundation and concealer you tend to look flat so i just wanted to bring some dimension back into my face then i went in with my handy dandy trusted laura mercier setting powder and my makeup revolution setting powder i love both of these i love laura mercier because the powder is super fine and soft and it literally locks your makeup into place and it does not move and then i love makeup revolutions because that has like a yellow tint to it so it's perfect for melanin skin um it doesn't cause any flashback or you know no ashiness or anything like that to my makeup when i apply it and i like to apply these two together because for me they just work the color from the Makeup Revolution setting powder and then the setting staying power of Laura Mercier is just amazing. Then I went in with my trusted, trusted, okay, <laughs> Black Radiance Contour Powder palette to set my um my elf cream contour and that just locks all of that in place and just kind of gives me a sun kiss glow when i use this black radiance palette i just can't go wrong after that i went in with a bronzer and this is the makeup revolution bronzer in the color ready to go it's a baked bronzer and this is my favorite bronzer to use for the summertime because in the sun it just makes my skin 
glow from within and it looks so natural and so radiant it's just really really pretty then I went ahead and used some blush I, I used the elf blush palette in light and I used that pretty like it's kind of like an orangey tone color warm and I just used that on my cheeks not too much went in with my Ju Juvia's Place palette and put that orange under my eyes and I applied some LA Girl Pro eyeshadow primer in nude on my waterline I don't have a nude um, eyeliner so I just use that because you can literally use makeup for anything you want <laughs> and then I tried the NYX skinny mascara for my lower lashes and I have to say that brush is so tiny it got like every single lash and my lower lashes are short but it worked it worked great went in with my favorite mascara the L'Oreal um, I think this is Lash Paradise Mascara. Yeah, I haven't really tried any other mascara since I picked this up. It's great for drugstore and it works wonderful. I set my face with the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. Lock in my highlight, which I use the ColourPop Dream Sequence. Um, I think it's Super Shock Highlighter Palette. This palette is pretty too, um, but it reminds me a lot of the eyeshadows. It has that soft, spongy, creamy um, texture, but the way it applies to the skin, I don't really care for. A lot of these shadows and highlighters just kind of really look like glitter once I apply them to my skin, and I don't really prefer glitter. I like for my highlight to look very seamless and bright not like it's on top of the skin but like it's melted into the skin so I probably won't use these that much but they're pretty they're pretty then I went in with my I think this is the C'est La Vie eyeliner in mocha I like this liner for my lips actually because I could not find my NYX liner lip liner pencil in brown so I just went ahead and used this and it, it's pretty too it just it gives me the same effect i actually like that line this liner because it's creamy so you can use it for your eyes or your lips went in with a milani i don't know what this is called it's a milani lipstick that i love i don't know the, i don't know the color and i don't know the name of the lipstick but i'll put it in the description box below and i don't know the name of this lip gloss either <laughs> This is my favorite lip gloss. I don't know why I don't know the names of the stuff that I use all the time. Like, it's kind of crazy. But the name of that lip gloss will be in the description box below as well. Um, after that, I just took off my satin strips um, so that I could make sure my hair was finger waved up and styled. And that is it. I mean, that pretty much completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and my little makeup tutorial voiceover. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button so you can be notified when I upload. Okay? You be the first to know, sis. Alright? Support your girl. I love y'all and I will see y'all next time. Peace.